returned to Cloud Tower with Brandon to find the book that contains her history. However, Riven has told the tricks, who mislead Bloom with false information. She is so upset that she is about to leave the magic dimension. Only the intervention of the Winx and Myrta resolves the situation, but at a high price. Come on, girls, don't take it like that. It's just a little quiz. Yes, but it's a little pop quiz, and I just think it's not fair. Listen, the quiz is on things you should have been reviewing for some time already. You teachers always use that excuse to give us tons of homework. Your class isn't the only one we've got to study for, you know. <clears throat> anyway, uh, since there will be a quiz tomorrow, I strongly recommend that you review what we talked about today. <laughs> I'll never be able to get everything done. No kidding. No way I could go over it all. Tell me about it. I've got a big exam tomorrow and tomorrow's study. What is that noise? But... Bloom? Bloom? Huh? What's the matter? <laughs> office. Mm. Oh. I'm sorry. You see, the thing is, I really didn't get much sleep last night. <laughs> you see, the girl stays up all night, and then she falls asleep at her desk in the morning. It's this voice I hear all the time. It keeps calling my name. It's happening more and more often. The voice wakes me up in the middle of the night, and I can't go back to sleep. <laughs> what a creative mind you have. It's all right, Bloom. Just relax. Go to your room now and rest for a while. We'll talk about it some more later. But, ma'am... Mm -hmm. <sighs> Summon the advisory committee immediately. I believe the time has come to reveal to Bloom another part of her past. <sighs> my oh my! Where did I put that thing? I thought it was around here somewhere. Or here. Or perhaps I put it there! Huh? Hmm. Maybe it's... Let's see. No, 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 dropping it. No, oh, hold on, here it is. No, 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 oh, forget it. Professor Whiskers! Professor Whis... Huh? Where did he go? Whoa! Tomorrow's pop quiz! Okay, let's try this. I hope it works. Dancing smoke out of my hands. New life invoke. Obey my commands. <laughs> if you ask me, this smoke doesn't look very wholesome. <laughs> well... By 
by the look of things, I'd say it didn't work, did it? What kind of fairy are you anyway, Flora? You can't even bring Murda back from her pumpkin state? And you can't even tell a pumpkin from a carrot! Try me! Uh, yeah, maybe I should! Ah. And you'd better stay out of the way. Hmm. Oh, don't worry, Tekna. Hey! Murda can take care of herself. <laughs> We were trying to transform Murda the Pumpkin back into Murda the Girl, but Icy Spell is very powerful. Huh? I suggest you all take a break, because I have something to show you. The answers to tomorrow's pop quiz. What? I did so poorly on Palladium's exam that I really can't afford to flunk this one. I think fate is lending me a hand. Uh, Stella, don't even think of it. If you look into the envelope for the answers to the quiz, that's cheating. I know, but it would help me raise my grade average. If you were to cheat to get a good mark, you wouldn't feel good about it. Says who? I won't know until I try. I think it would have been better if you'd left the envelope where it was. The temptation to open it is almost too much. We've got to decide what we're going to do with it. Ooh. Hey, I've got an idea. We could read the answers and then pass them on to the rest of the class. Right, that way everyone will have them and we'll all be in trouble. So, what do you suggest, Flora? Forget the envelope and hit the books. Before I hit the books, I think, I'll hit the hay. Someone's beat you to it, Misa. Bloom's already sawing logs. Come, Bloom. Come. Who are you? Where are you? Come to me, Bloom. Bloom! I'm coming, but where are you? Bloom! 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 The principal wants to see you. going to happen? I've never seen Griselda looking so serious. She must have found out about the envelope. Oh, gosh. <gasps> you wanted to see me? Oh, yes, Bloom. Have a seat. The advisory committee members have just held a very special meeting. The advisory committee? I bet I swear I didn't even look into the envelope. W what envelope? Envelope? Did I say envelope? Are you feeling well, Bloom? Oh, yes. I'm just a little tired. What did you want to speak to me about? Well, Bloom, it's time you found out a bit more about your past. That voice you hear night after night belongs to Daphne, one of the historical nymphs of magics. Daphne? She was the guardian of the dragon's flame. The power that gave birth to the magical dimension. Legend has it that she lives in the depths of Lake Roccaluce. Follow me. I'll take you on a special journey of discovery. The discovery of your past. Wow. Oh. Daphne lived here. Let's go. It's okay, Bloom. Don't be afraid.
I really think you ought to go lie down and rest for a while. This has been a difficult experience for both of us. But I need to know more. Listen. Now you know a little more about yourself. But as for the meaning of what you saw, Bloom, you'll have to discover it on your own. What's the matter? Did you get expelled? How did they find out about the envelope? Did they say anything about us being in on it? Did they cancel tomorrow's quiz? <laughs> Relax, they don't know anything. Nothing, huh? So why did they want to talk to you? By all accounts, Farragonda had more to say about my behavior in class this morning. No way. It was no biggie, you just fell asleep. No kidding, and now we've got another problem. What to do with Whiskers' envelope? I can't focus at all. I keep thinking about Daphne and, and about Brandon. He hasn't called me since our adventure at Torre Nuvola. What if he's changed his mind about me? What? Me? You think I should call him? Stop! It's just a practice run. You were putting too much effort into it. Go and get changed now. I want you to be in top shape for the upcoming school exhibition. Kidding. I mean, Brandon doesn't have time to think about me. Why on earth should he answer my phone calls? Kiko, you gave me bad advice. Kiko? <laughs> Stop. There's a danger sign on that door. That sign means kitchen. We haven't seen anyone yet. Let's hide the envelope in the pantry. <gasps> if any one of us can't resist the urge to peek, she could do it without anyone ever finding out. And if one of us gets a higher mark than the rest, they'll have no reason to question it. This is a very tough choice for all of us. You got that right. thought of fairies as creatures of pure spirit, but looking at this mountain of yummy food... Focus, Bloom. We're on a mission. Hmm. What would be the best place to hide the envelope? I have no idea. Maybe with the food? And what if Master Sfolia finds it tomorrow by accident while he's preparing breakfast? Hey, let's put it with the turnips. Nobody likes turnips. Speak for yourself. Turnips are really good. But no one eats them for breakfast, and the envelope will be back in the hands of Professor Whizgiz by lunchtime. Unless our friend Miss Tuber here feels like a bowl of turnips tomorrow morning. Right, that's how it's going. 
for the bee. to Whiskers tomorrow. I really don't want to cheat, but I only studied a little bit. <laughs> what do you expect? We're too honest. Good night, then. See you in the morning. Loom, I don't mean to be nosy, but if you're still up, then Shh. who's sleeping in your bed? too scared. Oh, please, give us a break. We all know you're a straight-A student. It's true, I did study, but I've always hated those pop quizzes. Give it up, you two. You always complain the loudest, and in the end, who gets the best marks, Musa and Flora? Girls, we're already late. Let's go in, or they'll start without us. <sighs> hey, why did you stop? Look. What happened? I have no idea, but this promises to be a fun class. <laughs> oh well, well, well. <gasps> Everything has gone according to plan. But what do you mean, according to plan? Amaril, please, sit down. I'll explain everything. Uh, Mr. Whiskus, yesterday we found this envelope and, uh, we thought that perhaps you had lost it. Oh, I wonder what he's thinking about. Thank you. Actually, it is mine. And now, I'd like to open it in front of all of you. Ah. Oh! <laughs> What's the matter with you? It's just an envelope. Why are you so afraid? Oh, oh no, I don't... I don't know. Something strange is going on here. I don't understand why you're all so nervous. Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Very well. Now that we've finished our quiz, we can go ahead with our lesson. What? That was the quiz? Clearly it was. You all found one of my envelopes near your dorm rooms, and you all thought it contained the answers to the quiz. Well, the results are now for us all to see. So judge for yourselves whether you passed the quiz or not. 
Those who couldn't resist the temptation to open the envelope are wearing the consequences. I'm so proud of you. You all deserve the highest mark, A+. Plus. Yes, I passed the quiz. Thanks, Mr. Risky. Oh, no, no, this is the one they all. Uh, <clears throat> well, you've learned that the path to becoming a good fairy is a long one. But you're all still young, and you all possess the capacity to learn the importance of being honest. And of resisting temptation or easy way outs, being a good fairy is a role that carries great responsibility. And consequently... Huh? One moment of your attention, please. Tomorrow, there will be a meeting in the auditorium. We'll discuss the agenda of our upcoming parent-teacher meeting. Oh, oh no, my parents here at Althea? Oh, I've always hated these parent-teacher meetings. Oh. In the next episode, a terrible creature lives on the fears and nightmares of the Winks. They will have a sleepless night. The tricks will take advantage of the fairy's weakness to seize Bloom's powers. This is a difficult moment for the five friends. It is open warfare between the fairies and the witches. <laughs>